again, one of the state sci science standards is to talk about how um, the earth has been changed. And one of the ways that the earth is changed, one of the forces that creates change is earthquakes. This map of the earth here shows you some of the largest earthquakes that occurred in the last 50 years on this planet. You can see some very distinctive patterns in this. Uh, one thing that uh, we will talk about is plate tectonics, and you'll see how um, these earthquakes occur along the plate boundaries to the point where you can actually draw the plates and see where they are located. Um, also, this being the Pacific Ocean, this is the Pacific Ring of Fire. So lots of earthquakes occur around that area due to a large amount of plate movement uh, that occurs around the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so some basic things about um, earthquakes. This is a wonderful, uh, simple diagram here, and I really uh, personally like it because I think it shows uh, essentially how the Mission Mountains form. Uh, the Mission Mountains have a fault running along the front of it, and uh, one side of that fault is being lifted up, and the valley where we live in is being dropped down, and that's how we get uh, the Mission Mountains today. Kind of also lets you know that we live along a fault where there is a potential for earthquakes. Now, some basic things you need to know about earthquakes. Earthquakes are a buildup of pressure um, along a fault line. We have pressure because we have one side of the fault trying to move one way and another side moving the other way. And they're uneven and they're jagged and they catch and they build up all of this stress. It's like a rubber band stretching and you can only stretch the rubber band so far and eventually it will break releasing that energy and that's in the form of an earthquake. Now, uh, where that uh, movement occurs is along a fault. And where the break first happens is what's called the focus. This is the point underground. What you always hear about in the news is not the focus. What you hear about is the epicenter. And this is the point directly above the focus on the surface. And the reason why you hear about the epicenter is that typically that area right above the, the initial break and movement is where the strongest shaking is felt. And if the strongest shaking is felt there, it's also where the most damage occurs.